OK, Timo, um, you broke the goal-scoring record for Finland at the weekend with the two goals against Kazakhstan. Um, how pro proud of a moment was that for you? Yeah, it was a big moment. Uh, obviously, really, really proud of that thing. Uh, Litmanen is the biggest football hero in Finland, so, so it was a very big moment for me to, to go past him in the goals. And also to get a victory was quite important after, after we lost to Ukraine. So still all open in the in the world qualification so so happy happy with those goals um, and you played um at international level with yari as well as at uh, club level um have you had any contact with him since breaking his record and, and what has he said no yeah, i get a, a message through our our media guy in the, in the national team where he congratulates me and uh, and uh, th that's it that i uh, haven't spoke with him but uh, he sent me he, Congratulations and, and regards from from him. Um, you mentioned there it's it's quite close in Group Group D. Um, how do you assess Finland's chances of qualifying for the World Cup with two games to go? Yeah, it's not going to be easy. Uh, uh, we go Bosnia away, which is a tough place to go, and we need need to get three points out of that. And after that, we play play France at home as well, where we need points. So so it's going to be a big, big task for us, but uh, I, I believe we have what it takes to, to do it. So, so it's yeah, now focus on the, in our games here, wherever the players are. And then and in four, four weeks, we, we have to be 100% uh, to play best foot, football we can to, to achieve, achieve the second place. Uh, we saw the celebrations um, when Finland qualified for the first major international tournament in Euro 2020. How much will it mean to the country, in your opinion, if you can qualify for that first World Cup? Of course, I think it will be a similar, yeah. Uh, still need to, even if we, we finish seconds, there's still the playoffs in, in March, but, but to go, go World Cup as well, it's, uh, it's probably even bigger than, than Euros. So I, I think uh, it will be a similar similar part in Finland uh, if if that happens happens. But there, there's lo lo lots of games to go for that. Moving on to Norwich now, um, how do you reflect on the start to the season and the the progression the team have made over the last few weeks? Yeah, it, it's been a hard hard start for us. Uh, uh, we played against some big teams and yeah, we haven't haven't got the results we wanted in the in the beginning of the season. But I would say last. Last game was already better. We defended much better, and, uh, and just were missing missing the last pass, last uh, last thing to get three points out of that game. And uh, yeah, that's the thing. Now, now, now we need to start getting points if we wanna wanna do well in this season. And uh, I believe also the guys have been here now for this week, training hard. So, so whoever whoever's been with the national team, uh, they they come with the. With some good results as well, so I think uh, we'll be more ready, ready on, on Saturday. Um, how much um, did the new players settling into the side? There was quite a few uh, new new signings during the summer affect the start of the season. And how much do you see every day in training that uh, jealous in terms of the tactics and stuff coming together in in terms of how Norwich want to play? Yeah, of course, it always takes time for the new players to settle settle down. And our preseason was not. Not the preseason we wanted with all the COVID cases and everything, so so it's not an excuse uh, for for the first games, but it takes time for the new players. And I, I would say every game they they've been looking better, and uh, and us as like old players, we we get to know them as well better, and you know what they do, what they know what we do on a pitch. So so it's 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 getting better, and also in training you can see it every week that it's. It is getting better. Uh, the connection between all the all the players. The boss said after the Burnley match that um, it was an important first step. Um, what do you take from that game going forward, and what uh, to, to make the next step, and what do you need to improve on? Do you feel going into Brighton? I think it was important to to open the the points, get first point of of the season. It was uh, quite a long time without a win, win in this league. So. It was really important to to kind of break that that thing down, and uh, now we got it, and now we can play a bit more, uh, less pre uh, pressure in 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 us, and uh, and yeah, like like I said, we we defended quite well. They are a big, strong team, so so it's not easy to to defend against them, and we kept them quite much away uh, from from big chances to score against us. So so that's 
one thing for sure we need to defend same or even better in the next games and uh, and of course we we haven't created so many chances we wanted this season as an offensive player so it's uh, it's now our our job to step step up uh, all of us and, uh, and get those chances and and then the goals will come for sure brighton's going to be a different test to burnley they, they play a different style of football but they've only lost one game so far this season um, how impressed have you been with their start to the season and how tough a test do you think it will be on Saturday? Yeah, they've, they've been uh, really good this season so far. So, of course, I'm impressed how, how, how well they are playing. And, uh, yeah, like you said, they play a totally different style style of football. So it will be a different game. And uh, But, yeah, now we play again in, in our home. So I, I hope, I know we will get the support from our fans to to give us the boost to, to, to get the result out of this game and, uh, and then, it's, then it's up to us. I, I believe we, we can get points against them as well. So, so yeah, it's up to us to step up our, our game and, and get the result we want. Yeah, you mentioned the support there. The support in the last home game right from the start was, was superb. How much does that mean to you and the players when you step out onto that pitch? Of course, that's huge. Uh, we we need that that support, especially in the hard hard moments we we've been having lately in the, in the league. So, so that's something we need to to get out of out of the situation where we are in the, in the, in the table now. And like you said, last game was already already huge support from them. So so I hope uh, it will be be the same uh, uh, on Saturday. Yeah.